And right now we're on our tech talk on how data virtualization accelerates machine learning and AI projects. We're going to be joined now by our speaker, Alex Hoyle, Senior Director, Partner Channel Sales and Business Development, APAC Denodo. Alex has over 20 years of experience in IT, holding leadership positions in sales, business development, and business operations, and is an expert in building and driving fast growing businesses, and has deep experience in working with customers and partners for joint benefits. Thank you so much, Alex, for joining us today. With this, the stage and screen is all yours. Over to you. Okay, thank you, uh, Bavana, for the introduction and welcome everybody. Thanks for joining our session today. And um, as uh, we just heard in the introduction, I mean, we'll talk a little bit about how data virtualization can help you in your AI and machine learning projects. Um, as we have very little time, I'm not going to go through in detail now through the agenda over here. Um, just to start the conversation, um, I think you have seen statements like that, majority of data science projects fail, they never make it into production. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why this happens. This can be a not strong project management, that can be not a clear definition of the target. But one of the things we see a lot of times is really the problem with data. Data meaning access to data, not using the right data, the data not being clean, the data not being relevant. Um, a whole lot of, of different aspects around data actually play a major role for the success. And in that context, we wanted to introduce data virtualization to you. Um, data virtualization is a technology, is a middleware layer that really connects your data sources that you see in the screen at the bottom and your data consumers at the top. As this middleware layer, data virtualization really can connect to any kind of data source. We can on the fly combine data much faster than you do that in a traditional way of data extracts, and then publish this data for different types of applications, including your different AI tools like Python, like R, etc. cetera. Um, it's one of the most modern data integration technologies that's out there in the market. And we're talking usually about an 80% time saving compared to traditional data integration methods. And with that in mind, this has a massive impact then also on the efficiency of your data science projects. So let's first of all talk a little bit about, well, the data problem that we see typically in data science projects. What I mentioned earlier, a good part of challenges that you have with data, uh, with, with data science projects is around data. One of the reasons for that is also because the majority of your work um, as a data scientist is related to data. So if you look at the seven steps of a typical data science project, you see here on the left-hand side, um, points two to five, identifying the useful data, ingesting it, cleansing it into a useful moment, analyzing it, and then prepare it for your inputs, uh, for your algorithms. That is a big chunk of your work. Actually, then only number six is really that part of training and, and finalizing your algorithms. So if I look at this picture, um, I will find out very quickly that a huge chunk, and that can be 70, 80% of your time as a data scientist is really related to finding the data and preparing the data. Only a much smaller chunk of your time actually goes into the analysis, into the training of the model, into the fine tuning of the model, and finally visualizing the result. So, if we're now looking at this picture that I just shared with you earlier, how data virtualization can really help you in the process, um, then if I'm looking at a typical environment, you can see Denodo really sits again in that middle between your different data sources and your AI and machine learning environment. So with Denodo, first of all, you get a tool to access all kinds of different data sources. This can be your spreadsheets, that can be your CSV files, SQL databases, but this can also be, for example, your big data environment, or this can also be your business applications or through APIs. So you get a tool that can connect easily to those different tools, uh, to those different data sources. One of the important things is also that you can keep those connections. We have a very strong 
um, data security concept in Denodo. And instead of having to re-extract data on a constant basis, which means, first of all, requesting often data access from your um, IT department, maybe fine-tuning the data requests that you have and then waiting for a couple of weeks to get the data, you actually just need to request data access once. And then with the security concept, we can make sure that as a data scientist, you only get to see what information is really relevant for your work. So there is no breach of compliance or of confidentiality. Um, the other part is then when you work with Denodo, you do not have to work with all the different tools and data technologies individually. Um, if you look at some of the research, you will find that a typical data scientist needs to be aware of probably five, six, seven different data storage um, devices, six and seven different languages to manipulate and extract that data. Um, with data virtualization, you can actually extract that data straight from one single layer through actually a graphical user interface, which makes it very, very easy for you to access this data. And if you want to, um, let's say, modify that data and really write code, you can do that in SQL or Java. So you don't need to know anymore MaxReduce and Oracle 12 SQL and MySQL SQL, et cetera. So making it much, much easier for you. Then we have a data catalog. With a data catalog, you can access all the metadata that's available in the data sources, and you can identify much easier what data you're really looking for. You might have five, six, seven, eight fields, which are all called revenue or ref or something like that. With the data catalog, you can add actually a business semantic layer. You can see the um, business definitions that are associated to these different data sources, which makes it much more relevant for you to identify the right data that you want to use. Then we have with the Denodo layer actually a centralized layer for storing a data model. So you can actually build one common data model that can be reused on one side in your project, but also across the different teams and colleagues and departments. So instead of having to rewrite again and again SQL statements and share them individually or store them on your laptop, um, you can actually create data models that are relevant for not only you, but for the whole department or for the whole organization. And they can be reused, reducing on one side the proneness for errors, but also the overall efficiency goes up. Um, and then obviously that data can be made available to the different uh, tools, can be a Python, can be R, can be your notebook, etc. So it's a very, I would say, easy way to get data to your machine learning algorithms compared to the traditional world where you extract data, create CSV files, um, upload them into your models. And then in two weeks time, you might have to do the same exercise again. So let me share with you um, one of our customer uh, successes. Um, this is with a company called Prologis. Prologis is one of the largest real estate companies in the world. They have um, thousands of warehouses, so physical warehouses, um, where they store items like, for example, for Amazon. Um, and they have been using Denodo actually in a, in a number of ways. Uh, one of them was also actually to um, leverage um, it together with Snowflake um, and move their data from a physical data warehouse into a cloud warehouse. But they have also used um, Denodo for their data science projects. And um, I'm just sharing with you the picture here. So first of all, it was really about getting, first of all, the right data to the data scientists in their projects. And um, so you see they have here at the bottom a whole bunch of different data sources. This can be some, um, in this case, specific data sources for the real estate world, but also Salesforce, Snowflake, um, spreadsheets, uh, et cetera. Um, and what you see here with Denodo, you basically, first of all, build at the bottom this base layer um, or base views, which is really just a view of the databases itself. What you can then do is in a very easy drag and drop user interface, actually create, in this case, different business objects, um, like, for example, the, the building object, the lease object, the occupancy object. 
And then these objects you can further combine um, to business entities or business units, like for example, for occupancy uh, information or for more detailed leasing experience, etc. cetera. Um, and then what they had actually done is they created so-called starter pack. Um, a starter pack is actually a base pack for different projects that they would run. So let's take, for example, the leasing starter pack. The leasing starter pack is really a base pack of um, data, but also, for example, um, algorithms and, and machine learning algorithms um, for any kind of leasing projects. So instead of having to start all from scratch when my boss comes to me and says, Alex, can you do maybe an analysis of what is the um, whatever best uh, ratio occupancy versus uh, square meters versus uh, contract duration, um, I can uh, use that leasing starter pack because this already contains information about maybe the leasing contracts, about the building, uh, about uh, the valuations of the project and um, has also some of the initial analysis already built in. And then I can restart all of, and I can refine whatever I need to do in my particular project. So for this starter pack, I do not need to request access, for example, to Salesforce or to Yadi. It's already available through the Denodo layer. Um, I already can, set, um, can, can leverage those models that have been built. I don't need to rebuild those models because most of them are already there. So it's a very fast way to expose, first of all, data and make it accessible for the data scientists. Um, after all of that work has been done and um, the preparation of the data has been finalized, they're actually using Denodo now also for the operationalization um, of the learnings that they have. So they're using Denodo as this middleware layer, which in this case, again, connects to the different data sources, but also then uses, for example, the results from the AI model scoring and then expose it to their analytical tools, like for example, Tableau or Click. So we're using Denodo here actually in multiple ways, not only to um, train the model, but also then to operationalize the usage of it. So what were the benefits that this customer has received? So first of all, we can see that the overall speed for their analytics projects increased significantly because that big chunk of getting access to data, combining the data um, has been drastically simplified. Uh, we, they have actually seen a improvement or the speed of their data projects by 30% and more. So they really could quick start their advanced analytics projects um, and um, really get much better results and much faster results in a short part. Um, the other part is also because the overall process, the overall um, platform has been simplified in their data architecture. So they could also reduce actually some of the maintenance costs they have perceived. So, Let's talk a little bit about the benefits that virtualization brings you. And I mentioned a number of those phones already. You get really a environment where you have a reusable environment where you do not have to reconnect to data sources again and again or request access to those data sources. You get a consistent data model that you can reuse either in the project or across the team or across the organization. Um, making it again much easier, less error prone to extract this different data. Um, you have a data catalog that makes it easy for you to analyze and review the data sources, the data fields um, that you want to use. And all of that obviously leads to a drastic reduction of the time frame to explore the data and to run your analysis. Um, we have actually the possibility to integrate uh, easily into, into tools like Python and R. And with the latest version of Denodo 8, uh, we have actually a notebook built in into um, our solution as well. Um, as I said earlier, I mean, you can basically connect to any kind of data sources. So we mentioned it here as SQL on anything engine. We can connect to classic data sources, structured data, but we can also connect, for example, to semi-structured data. We can connect to your data lake. We can also connect um, to your business 
um, applications. So with that, um, I'm coming to the end of my presentation. Um, if you would like to learn more about Denodo and data virtualization, you can go to our website, www.denodo.com. There you can also find different test drives um, on different cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and also Google, which really gives you a hands-on experience to fiddle or to play around with the solution and um, get a hands-on experience as well. Um, if you have questions right away, um, we have a booth here at uh, the World AI Show. A um, bunch of my colleagues are there already. So please come to our booth. Um, talk to the colleagues. They are all very seasoned uh, solution engineers who would be able to answer all your relevant questions. So with that, I would like to thank you and pass it back to Bavana. Thank you so much, Alex, for that wonderful session.